what's good planet it's the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading if you stumbled upon this video it's definitely not by coincidence that you are here i am a firm believer that these cards hold the answers that you may be looking for right now maybe for clarity or peace in your life so this reading is going to be the messages that you need to hear exactly for where you are right now so this was a message that was meant for you it's specifically for you so some of you may even feel like this is very personal so these messages are going to be specifically directed to your spirit um, to your soul from your higher self so i'm really excited to see what messages are here for encouragement inspiration also empowerment you can also find me on instagram at the tarot priest if you guys are looking for more enlightened education every single thing i have is going to be posted down in this description below or my website thetarotpriest.com so we have four different decks to choose from okay there's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck even if you're drawn to two this is exactly the message for you again it's going to be specifically directed to you from your higher self for exactly what you need to hear right now in this moment so we do have four different decks that you can choose from we have deck number one deck number two deck number three and deck number four all right let's see what messages are here for you if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading in the message that you need to hear for exactly where you are right now okay let's choose a different all right we have the seven sisters circle sisterhood enriches my life the moonstone passion i am entering a portal of euphoric love so whatever is going on in your life right now, it is directing you towards a, a place or state of being of euphoric love. So everything that feels bad would be what you're working to release right now. Okay. So I do see that there is going to be a celebration. Whatever you're going through is definitely going to come to an end. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. It's like if you've been waiting for something. It's going to come rushing in very soon is what I'm seeing with the Knight of Swords. We also have Leo energy, so you could be a Leo. You don't have to be, but we do have the Strength card. This also just embodying the strength that you do have to persevere, like it's a perseverance, which means to be patient for whatever it is that you're looking to come into fruition, it is going to come into fruition. And when, when it comes in, I'm seeing that it's gonna come in very swiftly. Okay, what's the question that spirit would want you to ponder on? Am I letting fear stop me? So anything that's a fear or comes from a place of fear is not of the universe. Okay, this is something that spirit is bringing to you. Like you're going through your fears to conquer them. That's how you get rid of them is you conquer them. You overcome them. A lot of you will release fear just by choosing not to believe in fear itself. Okay. Don't let that one go over your head leadership. So yeah, you guys are being called to take charge of a situation and step up. So if there has been like a pit stop for you of patience and waiting, we're going to get some confirmations. If there has been a pit stop, this would tell me that it's for a good reason. It's almost like to get you to see a different path. Okay, so some of you be grateful for this pit stop that I am seeing. Let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is about for deck one, for exactly what they need to hear. Page of Cups. Yeah, something is definitely going to come in very soon for you. This is going to be something that brings a lot of emotion a lot of fulfillment this would also be something that would bring curiosity to you so follow the cat is what i'm hearing you know cat the curiosity the curious cat follow your curious desires okay this is going to open up a whole new perspective for you once you get this new perspective then you will have clarity on which direction to take some of you just be grateful for this downtime is what i'm seeing okay because what it's doing is it's giving you some an open window to try new things trying new things is what opens this path and i see that this path is going to come in very easily you're not going to have to work hard to get it you're not going to have to try very hard okay so that's the difference between us taking it in our control and trying to you know go out and figure it out versus knowing that something's coming in yeah it's just taking its time with the knight of pentacles trusting that and allowing it to come forth 
so that you can receive this offer. So the Nine of Pentacles, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay, this is like a snail or a turtle. So it's coming in, but it's coming in slowly. And it's because of, I believe, your resistance to whatever this new pathway is. I don't think you've discovered it quite yet. Okay. Something else that I'm getting is that your soul tribe is very important to this mission, right? You have support. You do have support and I do see that there are going to be, we do have the sisters and the daughters. So we have a lot of feminine energy here. Um, a lot of feminine energy. Let's see what this is about. Two of wands. Okay. What is the decision? There's a decision. Again, this would be the crossroads. Let's get one side of the two of wands, one card. Thank you. And another side. Thank you. Yes. It doesn't matter which path you take. I'm seeing it's still going to lead you right back to your passions and desires. So in instead, in this pit stop, you have an advantage of seeking your desires, seeking what makes you passionate, what this passion that you have, it's like ignited through certain things that you do. OK, there's a lot of creative energy here, but they are just pages. There's still curiosity. Some of you may not have. Again, this feels new to me. OK, this new path is new to you. And it's going to take bravery. It's going to take courage uh, to follow this new path because it's something new. It's very creative. Let's get some new information on this page of wands. Why is the page here? Ten of Cups. Yay. Look at that. It's a celebration. Some year, I don't know exactly this new path because they're saying like it's for you to explore okay it's for you to go down um for for you to try new things but there's a lot of support around it so that's what feels really good is that you have so much support around you these people are very genuine compassionate so many of the things that you've been going through which let's look at that okay whoa It says love and accept each other as you are and the relationship will change so that's for some of you i don't know exactly what that's about but we're going to get some information on that because it flew over there so you guys could have definitely just went through a challenging time or are going through a challenging time right now you're learning we have envious and gluttony okay you're learning that we're going to get some information on this Okay, we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this new path is, it's it's helping you exercise your intuition. It's going to bring you a lot of success with the Nine of Pentacles. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness with the Ten of Cups. This is a, a discovered idea or some creative path or some route that you're taking that you're discovering again because a page you're you're kind of seeing this as a child you're you're a novice to this new way of living and i do believe it's calling you to step up into leadership and one thing i'm hearing for you deck number one is that you can do this okay you can do this you have the strength to do this you have the courage to do this you can do this okay i don't know who needs to hear that but i just feel like you you have to believe in yourself okay so we have the envious gluttony consciousness okay the things you think you need okay the things you think you need you really don't is what i'm hearing with consciousness spirit is saying to let go of what you think you need okay because some of this is bringing you uh suffering okay faded to suffer so we have to change the storyline here i want to get some more information on that energy healing yeah so energy healing your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose so what you've experienced and have been experiencing is to show you that one you're unbreakable okay you're unstoppable okay you just you have so much strength so much courage and this is seeing it from the higher perspective that of course you would go through these things because you're an energy healer or you have uh, a part of you that has the ability to heal okay which means you've been through a lot but you still have the courage to fight you still have the strength to get up okay and your life was intended on being 
fun and adventurous and something to look forward to every day. Okay. And that's why spirit is trying to get you to be inspired and something is going to come in here and inspire you to take an adventure, to do something differently. You have one life to live. Okay. And live it. Dance, sing, play. Okay. With your sisters at sunset. That's what it says. This is beautiful. So spirit is saying, really think about what it is that you want. Okay. Some of us don't think about it because we have the fear, fear that we won't get it, fear that we'll lose it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today, be brave and do it scared. So some of you have a, a, a dream or something new that you want to embark on, but you're not sure maybe if you would be as successful or great at it, but we do have the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? So that's, yes, you will be. So whatever is coming in is gonna be great. All right, let's see what your words of affirmation are. Yeah, we have adventure at the bottom. Okay, but that's also a slow moving card. Okay, it's a slow adventure. There's no destination, it's just the journey. Okay, something beautiful is coming in for you five of swords i will heal myself it's exactly what i was saying earlier healing so everything that you've went through it's shown you your strength it's shown you your light so you're learning to embrace those dark or fearful moments of your life okay so you're healing and you will be healed is what i'm hearing for those of you who are asking you will be healed nine of swords i trust the present moment because some of you are worried about something Spirit is saying to trust in the moment. Like even now, you're here out of all places and I'm here. And it's not a coincidence that you've clicked on this video, okay? Every single thing in the moment is magical. And that's what you're learning. I trust myself to see the truth. So Spirit is trying to reveal some things to you, okay? Some of these truths are what's going to get you back on track. All right, let's see. Any other messages for deck one? Wanting more for others puts me in an energy of abundance. I believe we've had this card before. So there is a change in your finances that is coming to you, okay? But there is a new pathway of receiving it, okay? There's, we're in a whole new world, perspectively, I will say. And we are learning that so many things are changing. They're not as they used to be. Technology is advancing very fast. Entrepreneurship is growing. So you're learning that there's ways, many ways, various ways to receive abundance in your life, not just one way. So be open to all. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation in motion. So being spiritually aligned means, are you following what feels good? in letting go of what feels heavy so you can feel lighter. The lighter you feel, the better you feel over time. So being and feeling good is being in spiritual alignment and spiritual alignment to yourself, to your spirit. What does your spirit want? Not what you think is best because we think most of the time out of fear because our mind is trained to be subconsciously on a flight or flight out of protection for us. So it's like fearing all the time. And so what you're learning is that even some, sometimes we're fearful of getting someone's number and we literally start having panic attacks or whatever it may be because of fear. And it's like, it's just a number, but the fear feels so heavy at the moment, right? It could be speaking on stage. It could be um, telling that person the truth or putting your foot down. So many things that fear makes it feel bigger than it actually is. Okay, so when we think about what's best for us, we only think from a limited perspective. When we open ourselves up to spirit, then that's when the universe can work. That's being spiritually in alignment, co-creating with the universe. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith 
in the love of the universe. So the more you have faith in the universe having your back, because most of the time, if we just take a step back, the universe will work it out for us. That's where you're learning how to have more faith so that you can trust. And the more trust you have, the more peace you have in your heart, the more love you have, because you realize how loved you are to even be here to be able to share this life in general. So there's a lot of happiness that's coming to you. Okay, 10 of cups. I'm hearing not to give up. You're almost to the finish line. Okay, so be open to a new pathway and allow this new love to come into your life and new abundance. Okay, and it might not come the way you think. So that's where the openness and the faith is. So let's see what the last message is for deck one. Last message. Harmony, 10 of cups. This is a lot of happiness coming to you. There's going to be a big shift here big shift in conditioning the devil so you could be a Capricorn you don't have to be so this is breaking away from fear realizing that you're the lion not the sheep <laughs> yeah realizing you're the lion not the sheep okay and you see that the lion is tied up okay so you are breaking free from fear fear of doubt um, fear of your strength, fear of your capacity, fear of your own greatness. And as you rid that fear, you open yourself up to euphoric love and a sisterhood that enriches your life. So it's a soul tribe, people who can embrace you also. So, all right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now. Spirit is definitely there with you, uplifting you. If you have any comments or if you have any uplifting messages, you can definitely comment them down below. Sending you so much love and light. I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and messages for exactly where you are right now. So it's definitely not a coincidence. If you are here, we have equality i create and foster reciprocal relationships so there are going to be huge decisions coming i'm hearing for you in the next year around your relationships okay so that's what you're in the middle of attracting right now is bringing balance okay bringing balance into your life so right off the bat we're starting with relationships so that is usually going to be the root chakra or the base chakra all of your foundations of relationships i feel like you are probably going through a journey right now in let's see four of swords three of cups and the devil capricorn energy you don't have to be a capricorn let's see what other messages are here for you hearts desires and the question what am i most afraid of losing so yeah if that's you then this is your message someone is how should i say this someone is reconsidering someone is thinking about their desires and what really brings them happiness and fulfillment Okay, messages for deck two, exactly what they need to hear for who is watching and listening. Ace of Swords, you're going to gain a new perspective, idea, clarity on a situation in your life. It's going to cause you to want to break free. You could be a Virgo, you don't have to be. We have a lot of Earth sign here. So definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is on the board. You don't have to be. So if you are staying or keeping because you're afraid of losing this isn't a good place to make the decision the best place to make this decision is by asking yourself what do you truly desire okay and being honest in the process let's see why the devil's here okay because i do see the hermit is here three of wands okay some of you are going to be walking away from a situation that maybe once you were afraid of losing Okay, it could be a situation, it could be a, a, an item, it could be a home, it could be a car, it could be a job, okay? Spirit, yeah, some of you are worried, okay? If you're worried about keeping it, Spirit is saying, is it yours to begin with? Because what's for you, I'm hearing your guides very clearly, what's for you will not have you stressed out trying to keep it. 
I'm telling you, this is coming in clear deck too. Okay, spirit. Oh yeah, eight of swords, okay? So the eight of swords, this is all about mental imprisonment. So you are being challenged mentally, okay? Um, to get out of your head and focus more on how you feel, okay? Focus more on how you feel. Some of you may not be getting as comfortable of a sleep as you normally could be. You could be up really thinking. See, even when we're sleeping, our mind, if it's worried, is going and going and going, okay? Because of the fear of losing something. Sometimes it's just like, you know what? Take it. <laughs> the, the frustration, the fear, the anxiety of keeping it is just too much. Just take it. I let it go. That's like the freedom that's coming into your life. Freedom and peace and happiness is coming to you and it's going to be a new perspective that's coming in but you're breaking free okay we have the eight of swords um, you're breaking free from a situation and you will be successful is what i'm hearing okay you will be successful and whatever you've lost you will gain times two times three okay we have the high priestess at the bottom this is waking you up to who you are and the power that you do have is also what i'm seeing Okay, we have the morning star. Radiance. I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. So you are here to be a star. Okay, if you chose this deck, you're here to be a star. You could want to be a content creator with the six of wands. You could have a YouTube, could have a TikTok. Um, that's for a few of you guys because we do have public recognition here. And the fact that you're radiating and you're a shooting star and you have a dream, okay? If anything, if, if you're not trying to be the content creator in the public eye here with the Six of Wands, you could just be a star with where your heart desires you to be, okay? You don't have to be in the public eye to be a star, is what I'm hearing, but we will get some clarity. Options, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So maybe this is Spirit saying, maybe you should try something new something different maybe you should try something different maybe you should try something that you can go with the flow okay let's see what that ace of swords is about spirit what are you saying to deck two existence at the bottom we have the magician okay if you could create your reality what would you create with the existence card here we also have trust, trust that it will work out, trust that you are in the right hands, trust that love is on your side, trust, artificial heart, yeah, look at this, this is a lot, let's see what that's about. Remember who you are, I'm hearing. Remember who you are. What's going on here? Deck with deck two. Patience. Patience, patience, our favorite word. But it's really being patient with yourself to take leaps of faith. For you to not be afraid of losing things. Not being afraid of what could be lost or what couldn't be. Know that you're taken care of by the universe, okay? The dream, have you forgotten the dream? Remember who you are, have you forgotten the dream? <laughs> wow, some of you guys have really, really beautiful dreams that you're here to manifest. That's actually why you came here, I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah. You came here to be a magician, to live your dream. That's what you came here to do. However, you got caught up in what you thought you have to do you know, all the things we believe we have to. Well, I have to do that. Do you really have to? Okay, that's why the devil's here. Actually, let's clarify. Why is this devil here? The miser. This is the card of greed. Holding on to something so tight. Whatever it may be. Okay, because you're afraid of losing it. Why are you afraid? Why are they afraid of losing it? We have the queen of pentacles, pentacles. This is all about your finances. They are being afraid to lose that. 
okay? For some reason you believe it brings value to you, but you're learning that you are the value. The money is just the addition. The abundance of materials are just representations of who you are. And so when you're walking in who you are, the abundance just flows to you because they're like, whoa, abundant person over there. And all the abundance comes to you, whether it's coins, materials. I mean, I literally just met this guy yesterday who said he hit the lottery three times over $100,000 each time. I'm like, you're a magnet. He still doesn't get it. You are literally a walking magnet. You don't have to go chase it. It just will come to you when you know who you are. And yeah, it's just so beautiful because you guys are gonna have a lot of revelations around the value that you bring and understanding everything else. Look at, you're radiating. It has no choice. It's like something that's so bright and people just ignoring it. You can't, it's just, you're just there so bright. It's who you are, okay? And you deserve to receive it, okay? <laughs> Some of you could have definitely been drawn to two decks. Okay, some of you could definitely have been drawn to two decks. This could be your second deck, actually. Celebration twice. Once you embrace who you are 100%, with no judgment, there's a celebration coming for this breakthrough. Okay, Thunderball, it's coming in. We have letting go right under it. Okay, we have healing. It's like once we accept certain things, losing them, we have to accept what comes with that. Okay. And, but what we can focus on from what I'm hearing spirit is, is what's coming in. Because if anything has to be let go of or removed, it's only because the universe has something better. Period. It's just that in unconditional love. It's like a parent. How do you not give your child everything you want them to have? That's the universe. Like, please, no, I want to give you everything. So move this out. This isn't what you want. You thought you wanted it. Okay. I'm definitely hearing that you guys could have resonated with the spiritual protection. So if you guys are looking for that webinar, you can also find that down below. We talked a lot about this. We have yoga. Your life is enriched by yoga, stretching and exercising. So tuning in, find what method works for you to connect with your higher self and your greater self. Peaceful among thorns. I love this. You guys are powerful, powerful. This just reminds me of the Avatar Last Airbender. Just like so much power. And what is power? You know, we overlook that. But to be peaceful in a world full of chaos, that's power. That's power because no matter where you go, you carry the peace within. And that's why spirit wants you to get grounded because you're powerful when you're grounded, when you have clarity, when you can see clearly, okay? Whew, deck two, you're making me go deep over here. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen, love conquers, and transforms all things. So if you love it, let it go. If it comes back, it's for you. We've heard that. And even sometimes spirit goes beyond that and sends you something even more incredible. And it's not something that you've had before. It's better, okay? Sexual union, honor the place of one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So the sexual union also can represent your creative union with yourself in who you truly are to be able to create this, okay? Last but not least, it says, as we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if that was a lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Now that fear, look at it at its worst case scenario. Find a solution and take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you're going. So move forward knowing how powerful you are. So that's a beautiful message. I hope that this brought you some inspiration. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. And thank you so much for allowing me to guide you on your journey to spirituality. If you have any comments, you can post them down below. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck three, this is your reading for messages for exactly where you are right now. 
talk to your angels. Some of you are walking with ancestors, angelic guides, okay? Angels, instead of worrying, you have divine guidance. We have beloved lovers. This was a card I believe that came up. So if this is your second time, that's another confirmation that you are attracting someone who is your equal, if you haven't already. Gateways of light, look at that. There's a, there's some type of divine union that's coming in to your life if it hasn't already. It says, I have unlimited access to the divine mind, infinite gateways of light. The cosmic union is destined for greatness. So you have a cosmic union with someone here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the artist. That's insane. You know why? Because I'm pretty sure you have the artist. This one flipped over. Yeah. Wow. That's another confirmation. So some of you here could be an artist that you are slowly getting back to who you truly are. Okay. So this is really, really beautiful. I remember this card flipping out, but I had no idea you guys had this one. So the emperor, we also have Aries energy here. So you're going to be taking action towards an artistic, creative path that spirit wants you to take. This could be something that you have been dreaming of for some time and it's time to take action. I'm hearing that you are ready. Okay. What is your question? What do I resist feeling right now? And what you're going through? Triumph of lies atonement okay because some of you could have definitely experienced some type of i i wouldn't i mean i could say but backstabbing or betrayal because that's usually what this card is but i'm just sensing that over time things became painful in the sense of past or living a life that was not yours you know could have over time affected you or just doing things that you were not excited to do or happy and inspired to do let's get some more information on what this is coming from because everything that you've been through it's like you have inspiration from the things you've been through in your artistry so it's giving you visions it's giving you stories to tell it's everything that you've been through has it's given you a story okay so I do see you're an artist of some sort. Engaging in artistic endeavors is important to your career. We have the Two of Cups, which is a soulmate. So some of you are going to find your life partner or have clarity of your life partner in the next year is what I'm hearing. Okay, so we have Two of Cups. This is a dream come true. Okay, something is getting ready to happen for you. It's been taking some time. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Six of Swords, yeah, you've been on a journey for some time, okay? And what's been the holdup? <laughs> wow, that's crazy, that's the third time. This is deck three, the third time the High Priest in reverse is at the bottom. Who's not following their intuition? Who is not following their intuition and following fear? Let's see what this Six of Swords is about and the Knight of Pentacles, thank you. Postponement. Yeah, so something has been postponed and delayed. It seems like it was this dream of yours. Okay, but I see the emperor here. So something is going to be changing. It could be around spring, which is Aries season. Then I see something changing for you as well. Okay, we have lovers. There's so many things coming to you. Honestly, deck three, go ahead and just open up your net and get ready to receive your blessings. That's just the one thing that spirit wants you to focus on is receiving, okay? Just be open to receiving, okay? And how do you get yourself in alignment with this receiving mode is by having the courage and the strength to go after whatever this art artistry is. Let's see some more information. We have clinging to the past. There's nothing in the past that will suit you. We have, I won't cry for you. Look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way okay so this is definitely a love situation you could be going through i'm gonna confirm okay some type of loss may have happened some fear of loss could be happening you could have also been resonating with deck two specifically 
okay? You don't have to be, but I'm just gonna know, say it because the more narrow and accurate I get, the more I'm talking to you, okay? So um, why is I won't cry for you here? 22, yeah, look at that, two, two. Oh my goodness. 2022 is gonna be a big year for you, deck three, okay? It doesn't matter what year you're here, but I feel like even if you're after the year, it's a big year. We have the nine of pinnacles. Something is shifting in your finances. I do believe it's coming from this new artistic endeavor. All of the answers that you're longing for are inside of you. Like they're inside, okay? And looking inside is just taking the time to gain clarity, okay? Taking time to self, maybe putting intention behind your meditations. Okay, your meditation can be done with music, a song that makes you feel good, taking the time to think about the life that you want, envisioning it to the song that feels good. Yeah, that's the artist. That's creating your reality. You do have this power. Okay, it's been some time though. We have the five of wands. I feel like there's just been some conflict in the past that's been holding you up and occupying your time. Um, let's just confirm the artist card with this deck and the emperor. Thank you. High priest. Dang. You might be a light worker, deck three. <laughs> so you do have a gift, okay? You do have a gift of discernment. You do have a gift of intuition. Anytime you get involved in a situation that drains you or brings your energy down or conflict, it takes away from your ability to see clearly and hear your intuition. So that's why it's important that you take time to self, okay? And honestly, you might have found yourself being the strong one, being the leader. And the leader I'm sensing is also the one to go first most of the time, the one to have to figure it out. But as this leader... I feel like you're being called to who you truly are. And as a leader, you are the first to follow. You are the first to follow who you, who you truly are. And then from that, inspiration comes to the people around you. And if you find yourself not having others to vent to or people closest to you, that's where your artistry comes into motion and it lets you express and create okay that's why it's so important for you to do these things we do have the four of wands here so it does seem like if you are single okay specifically just really quickly for the singles if you are single i do see something is coming in very very soon for you it looks like it's going to be a partner you've been manifesting for some time let's just get some clarity on this now what's going to bring you to this person this person will recognize you from the high priestess that you are Okay, so it's very important that you're being true to yourself. We have the 10 of Pentacles. So yeah, there is a commitment coming in for you, 100%. Okay, but you are learning how to overcome your fears. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So there's a little bit of a postponement here um, so that you can have more clarity on what it is that you may be seeking. Okay. What is their words of affirmation? Thank you. I trust in the flow of life. So trusting that everything is working out for you. Uh, and again, just letting go, okay? Letting go, letting go of what no longer serves you, okay? Because what do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce. Some are layered and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then realize what no longer serves us. I literally, yeah. It's like I see that you have to like embrace the dark, okay? Just embrace what has happened so that you can let it go and walk into just getting back on track with what makes you happy, okay? And this life that you wanna create for yourself. So something new is coming in 
it's a it's a passion that you're inspired to follow and you will have success from it deck number three okay you will have success six of wands public recognition people will notice this you will have success financially from this new path that you're inspired to take it's your passions that are going to bring you the abundance two of wands but there is a decision focus on what you want only and make it happen focusing on regret or what you lost or what you don't have is what isn't focusing on what you want is what spirit is saying focus on what you want now okay and know that you are unconditionally loved and i do see that you are manifesting that in your life yeah we have the emperor twice here twice aries energy All right, let's see what your manifestation cards are. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. So all you have to do is have powerful intentions of what you want. Combine that with faith which means believing that the universe is going to do it now if you really believe that the universe is going to do it you're not going to be worried and anxious and freaking out about it because you know that the universe is going to do it so also we forget this one important step and that's being honest with ourselves okay it feels good to really have faith in the universe it feels good it feels peaceful and then it just comes very quickly so this is what's allowing you to create your vision and bring it to reality. Even if, yeah, I just see that you are an artist. I can't say even if you're not, because <laughs> you are. And, and even if you've forgotten, it, it is also about remembering who you are, okay? So it says, I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. So don't let fear make your decisions. Just allow it to bring awareness in a cautious way. That's the best way I can say what, how we can use fear to our advantage. Because if we fear, we feel our body going into fear, we're aware. And you also chose the purple. And we know that purple represents the third eye. So that's why I was saying this is definitely a spiritual deck. So we can use fear as a alertness to us, a caution. And then, okay, whoop, let me get off of that. You know, let me get out of there and just enough to get out, but not staying in the fear so much that it brings us anxiety, okay? So directing my focus on what's thriving cre creates more of what I want, okay? So focus, because so much has happened, right? There's so much you can focus on, but focus on what you've learned from that. Because it's like, what you've learned means you will never have to go through that ever again. So you be, you're thankful for that lesson because it gave you that key, right? Now, if we forget the lesson, it's like, dang, where are we going to get the key? Because we still have to learn the lesson, right? So the lesson is because of us. <laughs> We're the hard-headed ones, truthfully, guys. We're the hard-headed ones. So we always say, why do we have to go through lessons? It's like, look, we are the hard-headed ones. We are the reason why. And then we have to learn and hit our head a few times, kind of like a baby when a baby's touching the stove and we're like, no, and they're like, why? And they're like, no, it's for your greater good. But the kid feels like, no, we're just taking the fun from them. It's like, that's the type of relationship that you have with universe. It's someone who wants to give so much to you, okay? So if you guys chose deck number three, because I'm about to start going on a whole preaching tangent over here. If you guys chose deck number three and you're looking for more enlightened content or even more secret pick card readings, you can find that down below in the description or the tarotchest.com if you guys are looking for that. But yeah, it was a pleasure reading this for you. Thank you so much for being here and allowing me to guide you. I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear for where you are right now. What is the question? Am I focused? on what I am losing or gaining. So am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? You guys could have definitely resonated with another deck because we talked about this. Okay, let's see the difference with you guys. Okay, 
the sun so you guys could be a leo you don't have to be the empress the hermit wow you guys have so many characters here many 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 things are going on right now okay everything's being shuffled around in your life uh for the purpose of joy okay joy is why everything is happening okay so if you're not honest with yourself about what brings you joy spirit will definitely be honest with you okay so i do see that you're birthing something new this is a new stage in your life okay you're tapping in going through life lessons going within your shadow for deep spiritual growth okay so you're going on it looks like this journey okay and what's what you're trying to do is look ahead right at the sun but you see his head is toward towards away away from the sun looking away from happiness and joy and what's behind them we're gonna find out is this me is this me obsession okay so definitely spirit is going to be redirecting your focus right now but you do have support here okay your life purpose is really going to support you you have a creative expression a creative ability that will bring joy to you i see that you guys are birthing this we also have starlight my inner vision guides me to my higher purpose so you're being waken up to your purpose okay you're being waken awakened to your purpose so you are gaining so much more than you are losing okay we have the full card here it's time to take the leap of faith with the full card this is the unknown you don't know what's going to happen next but you do have the hermit here which is the light okay you do have the light with you and you do have support your angels also is something that i'm hearing um three of swords yeah you guys have experienced some type of heartache is the word i want to say you could be a libra you don't have to be we do have justice now um, it doesn't have to necessarily be hard. It, it could just be like dissatisfaction or something that just didn't work out the way that you wanted it to work out. Um, and let's see why obsession is here. The world. There's something that you're obsessed with doing um, for the good, like your joy, something that makes you really, really happy that spirit's going to be bringing to your attention here with the world card. OK, uh, there's some type of exploration that you're here to take. So whatever is happening in your life is moving you out of the world card and to focus only on joy, okay? You even have the white Newman, which is all about joy. Everything is being rearranged in your life for the purpose of joy. So if it's not bringing you happiness, why are you keeping it? And that's where spirit says, are you focused on what you're losing or gaining, okay? Because the focus, it kind of acts like, I don't know if you guys ever played that water gun game, where you just shoot straight at the target and in the water shooting at the target makes your thing go up and you can race it think of that water on the target as your focus one is losing one is gaining if you are only focused on losing you are only going to receive and experience loss now if you redirect your focus and you focus only on the target of what you're going to gain like look over here hey can i get your over here right here the sun you see it it's so big how can you miss it there's something so beautiful that's getting ready to unfold in your life deck number four okay so what you've lost experience the pain because as you're experiencing it you're transforming it okay you're transforming it this is getting you back to you Let's see what your words of affirmations are. We have, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. So the fool is like, I don't know how this is going to happen, but I just feel that it's going to happen. It's going to work out. And that's a very, very good place to be because you've let go of how it's going to happen because that's not your job. That's the universe's job. 
Silly us for thinking we're gonna make this happen on our own. It's the universe, it's your guides, it's your higher self, okay? You do have help and support. You do have help and support is what I'm hearing. I embrace joyful opportunities. So there's gonna be a creative opportunity that's coming in, okay? The Empress embrace it. The Empress is also the mother card. So you know what she does when she embraces something? She nurtures it, she waters it, she loves it. So whatever this new creative endeavor is, have that same passion and desire for it, okay? Why is, is this me here? Three of Swords. Three of Swords. It's Spirit saying, is this pain yours? Is this pain even yours? Okay. I don't know who that's for, but I see things exactly as they are. Okay, that's the Three of Swords twice. Self-love, self-healing. And knowing again that you're not alone. Yeah. I am my own anchor. You're seeing your strength. This is allowing you to see who you are. This, this as in what you are currently experiencing in your life, this chapter, this new chapter, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun and remember love is the greatest healer. So you are learning not to take things so serious and to just enjoy, getting back to enjoyment and happiness and not looking back. Okay, why is the three of wands here? Okay, not looking back at whatever it is that has happened. Why is the three of wands here for deck four? One card. Oh, thank you. King of cups. Look at what we have here. King of cups. Some, it could be a relationship. Ten of cups here. Okay putting so much uh, expectation on this relationship for those of you who are resonating with the love um, the love aspect of it as in a partnership because we do have the two kings this would be two uh, people but what you're learning is independence that you don't need anyone to feel that unconditional love imagine can you imagine if we didn't need anyone and we could just wake up and we're like oh my gosh I feel so loved yeah that's power for real like that's power and spirit wants you to know that you have that power and you're your own anchor Okay, and so what's happening is you're embracing some independence here and also some fulfillment and also fulfillment that comes from you because then nobody can take it or leave with it or bribe you with it or hold it against you, hold the grudge. I mean, when you do it for yourself, okay, it's different. We have the Ten of Cups here. So I do see that those of you who felt like you lost or let go of a situation ship. I do see that it's being replaced, okay? Partly with love and joy in your heart, but definitely I'm seeing that you're manifesting a soulmate, okay? So pretty soon you might be dealing with two soulmates for those of you who are resonating with the relationship because again, we have two. This would be a counter couple here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace and it's so true. Once we accept it, we have peace with it. Just accept it and trust that the universe is on your side and don't limit the universe. When we limit them, we, we are not able to see miracles. Don't limit them. Don't limit the universe or your guides. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change which is beyond our control. You're learning to let it go and trust that it's working out without your control or feeling like you have to do it, you know? So we have goddess, okay, mother of the sea, so the water can definitely be important to you. You guys could even be a water sign. I know that we have the Virgo card, we have Leo out here, um, so you could definitely be a water sign or have a lot of water in your chart because we do have a lot of water. It says, I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean, okay, we have the Ten of Cups, cups, lots of emotions are here. So I'm definitely seeing when your emotions are clouded, it's hard for you to see clearly. So give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way, okay? So yeah, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. There's so much love coming to you. It's an ocean of just abundance of love and, and because you're expecting and looking and having the intention of that, you will attract it. Okay, let me get one more card here.
breakthrough. Yeah. So you guys are getting ready to have a breakthrough and a perspective here that you've been longing for. Your manifestation card. It feel it's good to feel good. We get that one a lot. Yeah, it's good to feel good. All right. That means that you're on the right track. We also have a lot of green here, which is the heart chakra. Lots of emotions here. Okay. So when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. So that level and connection of trust. Okay. You could have definitely been resonating with another deck as well. That level of trust is going to give you so much peace in your heart when you know that the universe truly has your back. Okay. Truly has your back. It's like if the universe were a person, would you trust them in the driver's wheel enough to go to sleep in the back? You know, like, I'm just going to rest and, you know, just have a little fun and trust that you have this under control, right? Get some rest. Can you really trust the universe or would you be trying to control and get in the seat and do it yourself? So allow the universe to show you, right? So I'm hearing very soon for some of you, I'm hearing in the next 15 days, give the universe 15 days I'm hearing. Try something different for 15 days. Just be open for 15 days. Just give the universe a chance to show you that you're not on this journey alone, okay? The more I attune my energy to appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. Yes. So being appreciative of everything that you have, being appreciative for where you are and where what's coming, okay? So appreciation, that's another thing. So this is something big. They really want you to focus on being appreciative. Okay, and dissolving all blocks to the presence of your super attractor power. So as you appreciate where you are, you can be appreciative of the lessons that you've learned. I've also talked about this in another deck. I'm not going to say which one, but I talked about the lessons giving us keys and we need the keys for the next level and the next door. No matter what, we have to get that key. And that lesson is for us. Okay, we're the stubborn ones and we're the ones who have to go through so much just to trust something um, outside of ourselves, truthfully. And so the more appreciative of you of going through the things that you've went through and what you've learned from them, the more it's going to help the presence of your attractor energy to attract more good things in your life. So. All right, let's get one more card for deck four. If there's anything else you really want them to know, universe, what is it? True manifestation is about receiving what is of the highest good for all. So a lot of people do miss this step in manifestation, and that's receiving. Many times we're sent the blessings, but we fumble it because we're not ready. We didn't learn the lesson. That's why I said, don't skip levels. You're going to need the key. So this key is going through your life lessons. Everything you're learning now, you will be able to go to the next level in your life where you can see people and say, mm, nope, I know exactly what that energy is because I've been through that. So I don't have to go through that again, right? You will have discernment because of the lessons that you've went through. So there is a key that you're receiving um, because of this. So true manifestation is about receiving. The universe is ready to give, but are you ready to receive? And before you can receive, you must trust. So I'm definitely seeing that something is going to be changing here very, very soon. Um, and there will be a breakthrough. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. I'm hoping that this inspired you and encouraged you to be a little bit more open to the universe and allowing that trust to come in almost like a blanket of protection for you. If you guys are looking for more spiritual protection, you can find that in the description box down below or other secret pick of cards as well. In the meantime, I'm going to head out. I'm wishing you guys all the best love and light.